I brought up. Please share your views. There, there are many perspectives that, that come to mind in a sense that uh, Americans, by comparison to Europeans and people from East Asia, will, will come off as passport bros because we're much more mobile. So large numbers of people in Europe and Northeast Asia, they will live their entire lives within 10 miles of where they were born. So compared to that, um, Americans are flexible and they're, they're like passport bros, always upping and moving. In, uh, in a, an increasingly fractious society, right? Increasingly disconnected society where people carry multiple identities and there's less and less holding us together. Like, what, what exactly do we have in common as Americans? But, you know, what would discourage someone from pursuing a, a passport bro identity? Also, men like adventure, men like a challenge. It's a little bit like joining the army or the navy. That's why men often join the armed services, join the, the French Foreign Legion for adventure overseas and, and to meet foreign women. Or it's like becoming a missionary. So I, I think there are many ways to leading a life. And being a passport bro is, is you know, one solid way of leading a life. In a sense, it's like the, the mirror image opposite of being a woman who complains about gaslighting. So I know a lot of American women today are complaining that you know men have been gaslighting them and they're, they're victims of this patriarchal, oppressive society. And a man who becomes a passport bro lives overseas, right? He, he, can't, he can't afford to become a victim of gaslighting, right? He's on his own. He's got to stand on his own two feet. So standing on your own two feet in a foreign land where you likely have no family and no no preordained friends, right? You have to stand on your own two feet. You have to make your way. So this is only going to appeal to people who are well above average in intelligence, uh, well above average in psychological strength, because it's daunting moving to a, to a foreign land where, where you don't know people. So this is going to appeal to you know, some exceptional men who, who yearn for adventure, who yearn for taste of something different and yearn for a walk perhaps on the, on the wild side. So I, I don't think it's something that's just uh, an abomination. I don't think it's just something that's terrible. I don't think it's uh, something to decry. Now, if people are primarily doing this for, for the satiation of their, their sexual desires, then yeah, I think that will tend to be a destructive path for them and for the people they encounter. Acting women who would otherwise be settling down and having eight kids, right? The only type of woman who will be attracted to a passport bro is a woman who's similarly adventurous. I, I know from my own life of dating, I've been, but I'm 58, so I, I've been dating for about 45 years, all right? I, I wasn't dating a lot of uh, super mature women who really had their lives together. I was dating women who were as, you know, screwed up and, and as flawed and as anxious and as insecure and, you know, as, you know, struggling to, to make their way in the world as, as I was. So the, the passport bro is not going to be after cast a spell over these, these foreign women and manipulate them against their will. Now, for the accusations of exploitation, it's a little bit like all the accusations of running a sweatshop or some foreign company going over into a third world nation and exploiting exploiting the, the labor. Well, what are the alternatives for the people in the foreign nation? So we hear that the United Fruit Company did all sorts of horrible things to people in Guatemala. Well, I, to the best of my knowledge, the United Fruit Company didn't need to take whip people out at the point of a gun to make them work for United Fruit Company. It was simply the best of their options. And so if women in foreign countries choose to settle down or to attach themselves or to date and go to bed with, with passport bros, I'm going to assume that they're that these passport bros are the best of their options.